Hi everyone, today I'm going to go over my durability test of these tire dressings. So what I have here, more specifically, are a variety of graphene and ceramic dressings. Starting with the first one is Adam's Graphene, which you can find for $17 at the time of this recording. Then Griot's Garage Ceramic for $20, Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic for $14, and lastly, Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Graphene Acrylic for 12. And if you feel like supporting these kind of tests, please consider purchasing from the links below as that would really help out the channel. Also, leave a comment on what you would like to see go against the winner of this test. So getting into how I will be testing is on this daily commuter Toyota Corolla. That is a 24 seven outdoor parked car. My weekly drive will be about 200 miles with city and highway driving mixed in during the summer. Conditions are dry with no rain and with temperatures ranging from 60s at night and around mid 80s during the day. I know I said no rain, but we will be putting the car through some car washes so the tires aren't going to be completely dry so we can see how they fare since I don't see a person that cares about this review and not washing their car for extended period of time anyways. And another essential part of how I'm going to test is that I'm going to put all the products on the same tire to reduce any potential variances since I don't really believe the conditions would be the same from front to back or even left to right. That being said, I'll be testing on the two driver's side tires since it's easier for me to just notice going in and out of the car and there will be a redundancy which I can average out the results. And last thing to note is when I'm going over the results, please keep in mind the shots may not look consistent due to the dependence on outdoor lighting at the time. Getting into it, the first thing we have to do is prep the tire. We just need to make sure it's all clean so hopefully the tire dressings stick on there longer. And to help me achieve that, I'm using Adam's wheel and tire cleaner which works pretty nicely since the purple formula changes to brown when it's dirty, helping me know if I still have more cleaning to do. So after a couple of sprays and scrubs, it seems like the tire is ready now for application. I'm going to tape off different sections of the tire, cutting across the Michelin indentations so each section doesn't have too much imprinted space and not enough smooth surface over other sections. And also, the tape helps give us a control area to compare what was untreated. Last thing to note is that when applying all these different products, I use different and clean applicators. The first one I'm applying here is Adams. According to the instructions, there are four steps. First, we clean the tire and allow it to dry. Two, spray onto the applicator and the tire itself. Three, level the product into the tire. Then four, allow it to dry for 10 to 15 minutes and wipe down the excess. So this being my first time using the product, you can tell that I obviously used too much for the amount of tire I was covering. That's why the tire looks very glossy on initial application, but I'll just wipe the excess off later. I wasn't used to how very direct and powerful the type of sprayer is in combination with the consistency of the liquid. I would describe it somewhere between liquidy and creamy. And my initial thoughts are, a little goes a long way as in maybe I could have gotten away with one or two sprays max for this section since it's so easy to spread. And last thing to note is that the product smells very good, fruity. Moving on to the next one, Griot's, and according to the instructions, shake well, apply to a clean dry surface, spray onto a foam applicator, and spread until uniform. A second application will enhance shine and durability. And lastly, allow to dry 10 minutes before driving. My initial impressions are that this product has a creamy consistency that is also very easy to spread, which you will find a common theme here during this test. And upon application, it has a very matte look compared to Adam's. Now to Meguiar's. 
For the instructions, it says, like the others, shake well and use on a clean, dry tire. Then it also gives two ways of application depending on your goal. There's high shine and medium shine. For high, it says spray an even coat directly onto the tire and let it self spread. For medium, spray onto tires and spread with applicator or towel. Both also say remove overspray from the wheel. Upon my first several sprays, you can tell that going the high shine route will cause you to use too much product to fill in the spray gaps, so I went with the medium route and just rubbed it in. This being like the others, it follows the theme that a little goes a long way and it's easy to spread. And for consistency, it's very liquidy coming out of the sprayer. Lastly, to Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions. The directions state wash, scrub, rinse, and dry tires. Shake well, spray evenly onto the tire surface, allow product to penetrate for three to five minutes, wipe away excess. And for maximum shine and durability, repeat application. And as you can tell, I used my best judgment and didn't follow the instructions and instead sprayed onto the tire, then leveled it out. Since if I just sprayed it and let it sit, there'd be some uncovered spots the sprayer wouldn't get without using the whole bottle, just like Meguiar's. But after leveling it out, I did let it sit there though for an extended period of time to penetrate. Again, just like Meguiar's, it's very liquidy and easy to spread. Not sure if you noticed at this point, but Grios seem to have gained some gloss since initial application. Now coming back 45 minutes later, I leveled out what was there before and added some more for a second coat for each product, regardless if the bottle said it or not. Hopefully to just get the maximum durability and fairness for this test. Coming back another 20 minutes later, I just gently wiped off any excess from the surface of each section. Now finally, we get to the big reveal and remove the tape. We can easily see that the difference between the treated and untreated tire. So my initial impressions are, they all give us a nice sheen look to them, with Meguiar's just being a tad more glossy. But I'm not gonna focus on too much of the look here right now, since the main focus is to see which one keeps its treated look the longest, with this being our day zero reference. Here's another picture look at the front, and then another look at the redundancy in the back. Moving on to week one and 180 miles later. As expected, all should be looking very good at this point, but in the front, for Adams, there are some signs of fade spots coming in. When in the back though, everything looks fine. Week two, 193 miles later and 373 total miles. In the front, Adam's fade spot seems to be growing. Griot's is still going strong. Turtle Wax is starting to show some fade spots come in. And rounding it out, Meguiar's is about 95% still good. When it comes to the back, fade is coming into Meguiar's, Adams seems to have a slight overall fade, Griot's is still very consistent, and Turtle Wax has some fade going on. Still on week two, I'm just going to go through this touchless car wash here to see how the products stand after this. And like I said before, anyone that cares about this product review, 
is going to want to wash their car periodically anyways. So I don't really see any issues taking this step instead of driving the car without washing it on weeks on end. Now these shots are taken directly after the car wash and it does seem that there was an effect on one of the products. And that would obviously be Adams. It just seems to be faded a tad more after, but everything else seems to be the same or nearly the same as before the wash. Week 3, 479 miles later, and 852 total miles. Sorry it could be difficult to differentiate this week since it was very sunny today, but Adams is just bad at this point. Nothing else more to say about that one. Griot's is still pretty consistent, with about 95% of it still being there, but that sheen luster seems to have gone. Turtle wax is mostly gone, and Meguiar's is about 70% intact. In the back, Adams is overall faded down. Griot's is still pretty good. Same goes for Turtle Wax, but with a slight overall fade. And Meguiar's still has large fade spots from last week. Coming out of the car wash, it's good to say that they all seem to be the same after the car wash, just like last week. And I think the biggest takeaway from this week is that most had lost their sheen, except for possibly in the back with Griot's. Moving on to week 4, 256 miles later and 1108 total miles. It's another sunny day and Adams is still mostly faded out, same as last week. Griot's is continuing to fade but not in a spotty fashion. Turtle Wax is following right behind Adams. Then Meguiar's is like 50% there. For the back, it's hard to tell the differences under this light, but they all nearly look at the same fade levels, but Meguiar's having some darker spots. Coming back from the car wash here, the findings for the front are about the same as before, but it does seem like some of the browning has gone away. For the back, same case here. The findings look the same as before, but on camera, the lower ones do look a tad darker, but just keep in mind that the lower sections will consistently show darker because the sun is shining from the top and brightly reflecting light as such. Sorry we are gonna go straight to week six since I was on vacation for week five. This is 349 miles later and 1,457 total miles. In the front, the whole tire is starting to brown over at the most faded spots as before and finally giving Griot's section an inconsistent look.
As for the back, it all nearly looks the same now, just darker under this lighting. After the car wash, it did seem to help with the browning, but the findings are still about the same as before. In the front, Adams mostly faded, then Turtle Wax, Meguiar's half faded out, and Griot's with an overall fade. Then going to the back, surprisingly, they all look decent under this lighting, and with the control sections clearly being shown again. But as stated before, no sheen. And at this point, I decided to stop monitoring and end the test, since I could have ended this in week four, but just decided to add another week for good measure. They all definitely need to be touched up at this point. Going over the products again, all are easy to apply, and a little will go a long way to give you a sheen look. You'll only have to use a bit more with your very first application, but when it comes to maintenance, you'd probably use one or two sprays per tire to make it look good again. Griot's was the most expensive at $20, and its consistency is creamy-like. Adams is $17 with a consistency between creamy and liquid with a nice fruity smell. Meguiar's is $14 and Turtle Wax is $12 which both spray in liquid form. And wrapping things up with my final thoughts and results. I think it's clear that the winner here in my test would be Griot's Garage Ceramic Tire Dressing. Not only because it seemed to have lasted the longest at about three to four weeks until you'd need to reapply some more, but it did it with consistency. Whether it was the front or the back, it gave a nice uniform look compared to the others. Because when you looked at the other products, when it was good in the front, it was spotty in the back. Or if it was good in the back, it was spotty in the front. And for that reason, coming in second place, I would leave it as a tie between Meguiar's and Turtle Wax. Meguiar's had a better front, but quicker declining back, and Turtle Wax, vice versa. And in terms of durability, I'd say it was a week shorter than Griot's at about two to three weeks before reapplication is required. So coming in last, you already know, Adams. For the front and back applications, they just seem to both fade out or give spots when just one of the others started to go. In my test, reapplication would be required at around week two. Although it did smell the best when applying, it's not like we're gonna smell that when we drive in the car for weeks on end anyways. So if I was gonna buy one, I'm gonna have to go with Griot's because I like the uniform look and uniform degradation. But for you, you may rather want to go with Meguiar's or Turtle Wax just because it's a good amount cheaper and possibly a better value. But for Adams, I'd just say skip that one and go with any of the other ones I tested. Also, just keep in mind to take my results with a grain of salt, especially the number of weeks I got for the durability, since there are so many factors that could change the results based on how you use your car or where you live. Like if you garage your car, live somewhere where it rains a lot, or how much you drive, etc. I'm just saying, don't quote me on the exact numbers for your situation, but I do believe that if you did the same test in your situation and area, the rankings should come out similar. Lastly, if you enjoyed or valued this test and want to see more, please consider purchasing from the links provided below as it would help support future tests like this and let me know that you want to see more. Also, leave a comment on what other products you would like for me to put up against the winner here. I hope that you found this video helpful, and thanks for watching.